Amazon or local, where are you going to get your stuff? Stay tuned. Japanese candies and snacks. We're going to let you know the best place to get them. Check it out. <music> To local love and today we're gonna to do something a little different something I thought that you guys would find a lot of fun we're gonna open up a box of Japanese candy alrighty guys so as you can see this came all the way from Japan small one we thought it would be fun to try something a little different I've never been to Japan and I haven't tried a lot of like Japanese snacks or anything like that so let's go through these together and see what we have here. Now, I do not speak Japanese, and I did try to like translate some of these, but they didn't come out very well. So we're gonna learn about them together. And I'll just kind of show them to you, and then let you know what they taste like. Seems like a good idea, seems like a lot of fun. So at any rate, we have about 16 items here, and yeah, let's just get started. We're gonna start with a small one first. All right, so this first one's like a little panda. And I don't have any kind of a label or a name. It's just literally a little panda. So we're going to open them up. And I'll let you know what I think. Now I did this assuming I could open all of these. <laughs> Fool. Oh, that's not what I expected at all. Alright, so I can't wait to show you guys this. I thought this was a solid like gummy or something like that. Yeah, so that's what came out of our little panda. And we even got a little, looks like a tattoo. All right, so let's try it. Hmm. Interesting. I would have thought blue raspberry because it's a pale blue. Kind of sweet tarty. More like bubble gum. Maybe they were shooting for cotton candy. All right. All right, so now we're gonna go for one of the big ones. And this says Happy Valentine's Day. It's the only thing that I can see that is in English. See, it's right at the top, Happy Valentine's Day. So I don't know if this one's early or late. I mean, this is new, I did just get it. For any of you that want to see what it is. I always like to look at these and try to figure out a hint. It's got a little Cupid on it. Hearts, of course. No hint of what this is. Ooh, I see chocolates. Well, chocolate's always a good bet. So let's try this. This is what it looks like. Kind of almost looks like a Swiss roll, but it's, it's hard. It's not soft like a, it's not a cake. Ooh, ooh, this is really good. Mmm, like a wafer. It kind of tastes like a chocolate wafer, but slightly more airy. That was really good. All right, so now for another small one. We're gonna go with this little bunny. He's very cute. And uh, I have zero clue what he is. But it kind of looks like a cracker with some sort of icing on it. So let's check it out. Guys, this is a lot of fun. I'd like to get a bigger one. I got this one just to kind of try it out. There's what he looks like out of the package. Ooh, that top is hard. <laughs> Doesn't really have much of a taste. The bottom does seem sweeter than a cracker though. Just tastes like sugar. No real like flavor. All right, time for another big one. All right, so this one just says bomb. It's the only thing which concerns me because when they use the word bomb a lot, it makes me think that there is a chance this could be hot. 
We're going to find out if that's the one we're trying now. And I am sorry, I don't have any names. Oh, yeah, see, I knew this wasn't going to be candy. I knew it. All right, so this one broke apart a little bit. But honestly, as I break it, looks like a giant Cheeto, like a giant flaming Cheeto. Hmm. Oh, wow. That's what I have left. Ooh. Those are good. They're not too hot, but it is savory. Kind of a cheesy, kind of warm. You know what they remind me of? If any of you have ever had Andy Capps hot fries, not as hot as those, but the same, the same consistency. All right, guys. Time for another little one. Now, this one is just plain adorable. It's just so cute. It's a little geisha. Here's the back. All right. I'm trying to get the cheese off me or whatever that is. All right. So this obviously has two little candies in it. And they are just a little white. They seem hard. They're not gummy or anything. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, wow. I thought they were maybe a jawbreaker for a minute. But they're not. Mm, it's got chocolate in it. See if we can get in the side inside this one to show you. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of those little Easter eggs you get around Easter, you know, chocolate ones with the hard shell. Not too bad. It's not like a good solid chocolate. Definitely chocolate. Pretty good. All right, guys. Time for another big one, and I'm not going to lie. I'm a little concerned because uh, hmm. these don't have any kind of a hint as to what they are. This one kind of looks like it might be for Valentine's Day, too. I see all the hearts on there. We don't know if this is going to be hot. We don't know if this is going to be candies but it's got extra things and there's like a lot of stuff in there it's not just one thing I can tell you that so let's open it let's see what we have here oh okay this is what we got kind of looks like those like pretzel bites almost except uh I'm guessing it's not it's not a pretzel that's what it looks like about the same consistency as that last one, but not quite as, uh, a little more dense. Hmm. I mean, it's good. Kind of like corn, maybe. Doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. So this one's kind of cute. If you remember those slime hands that you get as a kid, what it reminds me of except this one's kind of going woo you know and I'm guessing it's gonna be grape but who knows so let's try it yeah it does show that they do have other designs so then one of them is like a big hand too we just happened to get the one that was throwing up deuces a couple of these I'm saving to the very end because they're pretty obviously scary from the picture <laughs> I don't know about this one what do you guys think this one is? Hmm. I mean, if you look at it close, you can see all the little things in there. First, I thought it might be worms or something, but I don't think it is. So let's just tear a corner off here. Try not to make a mess. Pour a little bit of this in my hand. Hmm. You know what it smells like, guys? It smells like ramen. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Interesting. So yeah. It's soft. It's not like noodles. It's not like dense as noodles. Sort of does taste like ramen though. 
like it's a ramen snack maybe. Not my favorite thing, but not my worst favorite thing. All right, this is so cute. I love these little luck kitties. Now I can hear that this one obviously has some of those little balls in it. These are a bit challenging to open. Oh, there we go, we just go right through the top. Looks like the exact same, except a little, excuse me, a little brighter blue. Looks almost the exact same as the panda. Whoops, I'm dropping them everywhere. Pretty color, kind of like my hair almost. Not quite. The other ones are closer to my hair maybe. And there is something in here besides the candy. It looks like a scratch off. It's like silver like a scratch off. I'll have to check that out. Hmm. We'll have to decode this and figure out what it is. Let's taste these first. Mmm. Well, these are good. What does that taste? I think it's like blueberry. Yeah, I would say blueberry. Or maybe not blueberry, blue raspberry maybe. Okay. Well, that's what we'll win if we win anything. I'll have to uh, translate this. And I'll let you guys know if we won anything. I don't think we did. I'm pretty sure it's like a match. Like you had to match it. If I had to guess. Maybe we match it to the ones on the back. I am trying to figure this one out. To show it to you guys. Looks sort of like pies on there. Maybe an apple on there. Not sure. I mean, it's obviously like a little dude down there, but no hint as to what this might be. Really cute design though. Let's check it out. Hmm. All right, so this is what this looks like. I have another half here in the container too. Mm. Oh man, this is good. Mm. You know what it tastes like? Apple Jacks. Like a really lighter, airy version of Apple Jacks. Oh my, and I love Apple Jacks. Mm. I like that one. We'll have to look this one up. I'm going to save this other half because I have a feeling the other big ones are going to be gross. We're going to eat them. We're going to try them out. All right. So our next one. These kind of look like M&M type things. Could be like Skittle type things too though. Comes on the number four. Here's what the back looks like for any of you that like keeping track of these. I've never had Japanese treats. Maybe Pocky once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like M&M's. Just pop them out. Get this all over with here. Hmm. Might have some peanut butter in there. I'm not sure. Let me open one up. Now that we got them all out. Looks like just chocolate. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, just chocolate and a candy shell. Pretty good. All right, I feel like this one's gonna have some sort of game in it too, because on the back, it's got a club. And that always makes me think of like poker type stuff. So let's see. Could be Mahjong, could be any number of things, I suppose. All right, got it open right off the bat. It's got this on it. We're gonna check this out. Obviously we don't know what that says. At least I don't. Ooh. I'll have to check that out. I assume that tells me whether I'm a winner or not. 
I do not know. All right. It would have been cool if the company that sold this to me would have sent us like a some sort of pamphlet that kind of explains some of this. Nope, that's all right. All right, and our candy is chocolate. It's got the club on it. The candy is called Jack. It says it right at the top. You ever have that cheap version of chocolate at Easter, the Palmers? This isn't quite as good as that. It's got a like heavy oil content, not, not the best. Okay. Oh, it's got a little aftertaste too. We'll set our little game card off to the side. It's got a ninja. Ninja. It also says Jack. Ooh, and every corner on this one has an opportunity to open it easy. Ooh. Okay, this time it looks like it might be, like it might be some grape. Some grape options here. Definitely, these are grape. So here's what the back shows. All right, so the little star that's on this guy, I'm guessing you had to reveal it on one of their bellies. And as you can see, we did not get that design. So I'd say that that one is definitely not a winner. Interesting. All right, guys, we have two of the little ones left. This one, it's obviously lemon. And then this one that says, Merry Christmas. Okay. I'm going to hold on to those. Now it's time to show you these last two. I'm not looking forward to these. I'm not going to lie. All right. So this one, honestly, looks like seaweed and salmon. Hopefully you guys can see that. And as you can see it there in the hole, what it actually looks like. Mm. We're gonna try it. Might not be eating the whole whole thing here. Oh, it's like jerky. Oh, it's sticky. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, we're not eating a lot of this one. We're just gonna take a tiny little bite here. Hmm. Okay, I got all worked up for nothing. Ooh, nope. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull it out and show it to you guys. Ooh. This is what it is. What does it taste like? All right, so initially, it tastes like chicken bouillon. Oh, when you smell it, it smells like straight up fish. And it's hard like leather. I'm gonna see if my dog likes it. Want it? He will eat just about anything, this dog. Did you eat it? Wow, he actually ate that. Well, aren't you lucky? You're getting it. Look, so like an aftertaste of fish. Yeah, hardcore for us. All right, guys. All right. This one I'm not looking forward to either. Because <laughs> it's quite clear that on the front of this is a wasabi. So, I think we can, yeah, it actually says wasabi. Oh, that's what the problem is. These are noris. This is a wasabi nori. I'm not a huge fan of nori, to be honest. We'll try it. I can't give this one to my dog clearly because, you know, it's got wasabi. Ooh. Looks sort of similar to the other one. Same consistency, very sticky. Doesn't have quite as strong of a smell as the other one. Oh. 
Oh my. Woo. Definitely wasabi. Not as bad as the other one. More bite. Woo. I'm gonna light you up for a minute, but then it kind of fades pretty quick. It's just sort of like why. No, yeah. now it does have kind of a like a fishy. I think we're done with that one. Now you see why I saved some of my other treats so that I could rescue myself from that. Holy cow. That was gross. I'm rethinking the fact I should have probably brought some water over here. Okay. Let's put our fun little fish leather aside. Okay. Would not eat those again. Okay. So I'm going to go with the lemon ones. Because I feel like I can get through that while we're still in the video here. I'm going to show you what one looks like. Honestly, it looks almost like a pill. <laughs> oh, they're soft. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're, you can't tell because when you squish it, it doesn't. But when you put it in your mouth, it turns to powder. So it's gone. These are really good. Oh my. Very lemon. Mm. I like those a lot. Wow. Those are delicious. 10 out of 10 would eat those again. Those are delightful. All right, last but not least, we have our Merry Christmas candy. Complete mystery. Doesn't show us anything about what it could be flavored like. Kind of almost looks like a lozenge or a candy version of the little pill that we just saw. Not sure. I'm trying to decipher the taste. Sort of seems lemony. I would say it's lemon. Yeah. Nice. So good, strong finish. So I like that one a lot. I definitely think this was one of my favorites. The lemon little, with the little monkey on it. And this other one that tasted like Apple Jacks, that one was awesome. All of it was really, really good. Um... With the exception of these these are horrible make sure if you're getting japanese treats that you get candy if you want candy make sure you don't get the snacks because this is the kind of stuff you might end up with and if you don't like fish or you don't like wasabi you're gonna be hating life i didn't even think about that but uh yeah everything else pretty good this one was really good everything was just delicious so at any rate, that was our Japanese box of snacks. And uh, so, yeah, certainly uh, you can get stuff like this locally. Now, I think I might go down to Mills Avenue and see if any of those places down there uh, in, in the little Vietnam area has stuff like this. I know it's not Jap Japan, but you never know if they might have similar treats. If you go to Snow Bean, that's at Izibon, uh, right there on Col Colonial Drive, uh, East Colonial, and uh, right across from, basically right across from Hot Dog Heaven, just a little past Cimarron, uh, you're gonna see inside Izzy Bon, which is that really wonderful sushi, uh, uh, like a hibachi type place. There is a great little coffee shop there. And in fact, we have a local love out on the streets in our, in our playlist. You can go back and look at that video. They not only have um, some great Japanese treats there and snacks, and different types of variety of things, toys, 
Um, they also have, and this would be a great thing to do for Valentine's Day, much like opening one of these boxes would be, I might add. If you get something like this for your, your young lady or your young man, they're going to love it. Uh, but you can also take them to Snow Bean. And not only do they have like shaved ice and really decent little coffee place, they also have a little terrace outside where you can buy one of their locks and lock it on the, the little gate. They're like right above a little water, little, little lake kind of thing. You can lock this on their little, uh, their fence. And then they, you bring the key back in and you put it in their little bucket and it'll, you know, they basically keep it there uh, for you. So at any rate, guys, that's going to wrap up us opening our Japanese uh, snack box. Hopefully some of these were some that you'll go and look out for yourself and find. And hopefully some of them are ones that you're just like, ooh, I'm glad you showed me because I would not have been able to eat that. So yeah, so hopefully you guys can go out there and have your own adventure. This again is just one I'll probably get more in the future because this was a pretty awesome experience on the heavier side on a yes than it was on the no. The two I wouldn't do again are these little little fruit, you know, little uh, fish leather type tasting things. Those are awful. But other than that, pretty much everything else was a go. So yeah, thank you guys again for coming to Local Love today. And peace! We just came out of our first store. It's called the Orlando Sunlight Asian Store. As for this one, we just have a variety of different candies. Now, this is what I was talking about before. Uh, compared to Amazon, where you don't get to choose what kind of little samples you get, this place had 10 for a dollar candy. Hello there. Hey guys, it's Amanda and Jeff. We're here for Local Love out on the streets. And we're excited today because we're finishing off this Japanese candy video with hometown options to find Japanese candy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with all your friends. And hit that bell so you know when we have a new video.